what, what I'm saying. If you, if you deliver it in one line, oh, you know, the world's run by reptiles, it, it, you, you meet it on one level. Oh, that's crazy, immediate reflex action. But when you, oh, see, the, when you see the backstory and the evidence to support this, ancient and modern, it, you, you see that uh, one line, throwaway line, um, in a completely different context. All right, let me bring in that. Uh, have you ever believed in a conspiracy theory, Liz? No, I haven't, but um, I think David Aronovich is really interesting on this because he, he says that sort of paradoxically we kind of, we keep obsessing about conspiracy. Volcano Boy 206 here, locking in for UFOs appeared. First my radio signal through the toaster, and then my laptop gone, and then my TV. They're coming for me, they know my position, I'm locking off the grid. Goodbye. The TV license guy was knocking on the door. Um, why didn't you let him in? Um, we have a TV license to pay. Um, and also, uh, we got this through the letterbox. Um, the transmitter station is relocated, so if you hear any weird noises through um, the toaster, for instance, and other electrical appliances, 
don't be alarmed. And also, if the Wi-Fi signal goes, uh, don't fret, mate. Um, it's nothing to um, to worry about. Okay, um, I'll leave you to it. You see, as a journalist, I would love to believe in conspiracy theorists because they're much better stories. But almost everything I've ever investigated, it turns out cock-up is a better explanation of the conspiracy.